Hi, dear friends and cultural creatives. Bruce Lipton back again with the monthly newsletter. You may be asking, monthly newsletter, what happened in the last few months? Where have you been? Well, interesting story. Margaret and I just completed a four-month round-the-world trip, stopping in such exotic and wonderful places as India, New Zealand, Australia, Chile, and Argentina. At each one of these sites, Margaret and I had the opportunity to meet wonderful people who are changing the world. And I would like to talk to you about these interesting adventures that we had. So during the next few months, we'll tell a story each time about something new that happened that's also affecting the world. And at the same time, I'd like to invite you to take a look at our new web page. We got a new web page, a new design, lots of new videos, podcasts, and articles for you to download for free and take a look at the empowering information available to you on that site. And we're also introducing something new, our membership-only site. Ah, now what's in that guy? Well, in that site, we're going to have extra videos and classes and teleseminars and programs for your information that are not available to the general public. In addition, we'll have a monthly science report from Dr. Funk, uh, who happens to be me anyway, uh, and Dr. Funk uh, will tell us about new advances in frontier science that are influencing the way we live on this planet and the evolution that we're facing. And now, let's just take a look at an example of Dr. Funk so you can see what the future will hold for us. Thank you so much. Hi, Dr. Funk here, in some circles known as Bruce Lipton. Uh, welcome to the bowels of my laboratory. Today, I got a great story for you. Many times science is just about minutia details that are totally uninteresting to the general public. But I have an article today that is going to change the world. And it's about a new understanding of what is called microRNAs. Okay, now, don't go away yet. That, it's not that serious. Let me just tell you about it. Here's what it's all about. Once a long time ago, we thought that genes controlled life. And then there new research that uh, information that I was pioneering over 45 years ago, my stem cell cultures have now revealed a new science of genetics called epigenetics, which simply means epi above genetics, above genetics, information and control above genetics. We find that the environment is translated by the cell and that environmental information is then used to select and activate the genes. So this is really cool, and this is epigenetics, and yet we find out, well, what is it that actually alters the readout of the genes? Well, that's where the microRNAs come in. Now we find that the microRNAs are actually epigenetic mechanisms. The microRNAs bind to the chromosomes and alter the readout of the genes so that a single gene program can be modified to create thousands of different kinds of proteins from the same blueprint based on this epigenetic modification. For the longest time, we thought if we just eat food, our digestive system breaks down that food and the cooking will break down living things or freezing and all that will neutralize all the aspects of the food so that we can use just food as building blocks. However, something new is found, and this is about the microRNA. It turns out that the microRNA molecules in the food we eat is picked up by our digestive system and transferred to our own cells and regulates our own genetics. So all of a sudden, the concept of what you eat, you become, actually has a scientific foundation to it. It says that we alter our own genetic readout by the food we eat. This study by Valcherot and Choupeau were studying the uptake of microRNAs from rice in diets of an Asian diet. And what they found was that the microRNAs were not broken down in the digestive system. They were picked up intact from the food, transported across the wall of the gut, and then they enter the blood of our biology, our body. Well, this becomes really, really relevant in a world where we are now playing with genetically modified foods because we're gonna be picking up epigenetic microRNAs that we have no knowledge about, that have never really been in our diet or on our planet before. What is the consequence of altering our genetics with unknown microRNAs? Well, we're soon gonna find out about that. And here's a very important point about the microRNAs. No matter if you cook the food, you freeze the food, the microRNAs are very small molecules and very stable. And these molecules don't break down so that you always are getting active genetic regulating molecules from the food you eat. Good idea now to think about what are you eating? And the whole concept really says, 
for the better world and the better of humanity and the better health for yourself, we must return back to more natural foods, eating organic foods whenever possible, eating foods that are not grown in petrochemical environments because those chemical informations from the petrochemicals alter the genetic readout, which in turn alters the microRNAs. The food you eat has a profound influence on your biology, your genetics, and your health. And now we find that this is not just an idea like, oh, I really think that happens. Now it's a scientific fact. We know that information molecules from food are picked up by our digestive system and those molecules enter our bloodstream and then subsequently affect our genetics. With that awareness, think before you eat. Eat carefully. Take care of yourself. Return to the more natural foods because this is the food that created humanity and the health that we all aspire to. Thank you.